Hey everyone, this is Michael from Brent Musical Circuits. Uh, this module is BMC 120. It's a new VCO design I uh, have released. Uh, it is a one volt per octave VCO, so it works with your keyboards and things like that. Uh, we've got tuning knobs, coarse and fine, uh, a control voltage for frequency modulation. And then what really makes it interesting is the bit depth control here. Uh, so as you can see, there's this is our uh, output to triangle right now. And I'm going to lower the bit depth and increase the frequency by turning that knob up. And you can see that these dots are becoming further apart uh, until it eventually just becomes, you know, four sets. So we're having less different uh, changes in voltage per step. And then we're going the other way. And here we, you can see the lines are getting a lot smoother. Uh, so here we have an 8-bit output, so that's 256 uh, changes in voltage versus our 2-bit output, uh, which just says 4. And then we also have this toggle here, the depth mode toggle. I'm going to set this back down to the beginning, which this allows for um, kind of odd in-between changes in bit depth. And you can hear a little bit of heterodyning in the background there. Those weird, like, kind of overtones. And uh, we've been looking at the triangle. Uh, let's look at the saw output as well. And then we also have a square. I'm gonna set the depth limit back to normal. And then finally our noise output, which the noise does not respond to the depth control, but I did wanna have a pitch noise. And it, has, it does a little weird thing at the top of the dial. It sounds like it goes down a little bit. Uh, and yeah, uh, so in addition to our frequency control voltage, we can also do uh, depth control voltage. So let me switch this back over. And let's input something here. And I'm using a keyboard to control it as well. But so we're getting these uh, octave jumps just from inputting a triangle wave LFO there. Uh, and then we also have a sync input. So I've got a VCO that's off screen that I can input there. Uh, and then uh, let's try a little bit of frequency modulation uh, using that same VCO. Uh, there is a limit to the frequency uh, you can input for frequency modulation. Um, I do a little bit more filtering on the frequency control uh, just to avoid, um, you know, having just because these digital uh, anal analog to digital converters can be a little sensitive. Uh, so, um, uh, oh, let me turn it up. So I'm going to turn the frequency up on my other VCO, and you'll hear it just kind of stops once it gets high. So it just seems like there's not really any modulation going on there.
And then you maybe have noticed at this point uh, that it's not always uniform how this lines up. So here you can see that's pretty evenly spaced. Uh, and now you can see it's a little bit closer, the two in the middle. Uh, and now you can see the outsides have gone in a little bit. So our frequencies are remaining the same, but our harmonics are changing just a little bit every time we move this dial. Uh, and that is because of where it was in the waveform when we moved the dial. Uh, so that's just a little quirk of this that I actually like, and I wanted to keep in because I thought it made it more interesting that the harmonics were a little bit unpredictable um, with it without being like wildly different. Um, but I just wanted to let people know about that because it's something that some people might not be that into. But um, yeah, so uh, that's this VCO. Uh, I've uh, enjoyed working on it. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.